Uh, everyone else have small children? Yeah, we can thank her for this. I think they uh, serve colds and other diseases at their lunches. And so I have to cheat to make sure that cold medicine doesn't take over. Um, so when I, when I started thinking about this lightning round, I was not sure how to structure the, the talk. You know, how do we blend analytics and open data in a, in a, in a uh, kind of conversation? And one of, the, one of the thoughts I had was, let's use some real-time analytics during the talk. Let's say, oh, how much am I doing percent to uh, time allocated? How many people are on their smartphones right now and ignoring me? These sort of things. But that was a little over the top. So instead, let's see if I can get this one to work. I went the right way. I talked about, I thought about on the whiteboard, what is the relationship? And I think it's pretty simple. Open data plus analytics equals engagement. And when you think about analytics, that's really simply finding and displaying what patterns are in the data. So this is, creates a natural conclusion. So we talk about the simple math. Open, open data plus analytics equals engagement. That needs to be thought about also in an internal and an external sense. You know, open data shouldn't be exclusively used in your externally facing operations, but also your internally. And you also need to focus on ROI. Why are you doing this? What is the data's value to your audience? And keep that in mind. Through the transitive property, open data equals, uh, equals engagement minus analytics. All right, so, so what does that mean to us? That means it needs to be engaging uh, for open data to be effective. That means it needs to provide answers. It needs to lead to the next question for the people that are using it. Now, if we think about it more dynamically, we say, okay, well, open data is transparency. Analytics means insight. And engagement e equals customer satisfaction. Don't worry, I promise the math will be over soon. Uh, so transparency plus insight equals increased customer satisfaction. So as we're serving our constituents, as we're serving our internal users, we need to keep this in mind. And we need to provide that context for them. Um, you know, when we, when we think about this, personally, I think about my father um, and how would he want to react with, interact with City Hall? Could he, does he want to open a data set? Hmm, not really. Does he want to Google something? Sure, that'll work. Does he want, want to run a SQL query? No, absolutely not. Um, same thing applies to my wife. You know, they're both tech savvy, but we need to give them a little bit more. So we're going to look at a few use cases real quick about uh, of where we've taken open data or open data in a combination of internal data and made it very easy to use. There we go. This is what I get for doing the uh, doing the little prompters here. Um, right here, this is this is Rent Smart. It's also known as Neighborhood Insight. And we developed this in partnership with Boston. And it hasn't launched yet, so you're getting a preview. Um, this is a web app that, that is running solely on Socrata open data. Um, and it's creating simple and intuitive information for people out there in the public. It's designed to allow any citizen uh, to simply determine the temperature of a neighborhood. Should I live here? What code violations are at this address I'm looking at? Are there rats? Is the trash picked up regularly? can all be found here because we're, we're taking crime data, we're taking CAD data, we're taking 311 data, we're taking assessing data, code violations, all putting it together in a Google map essentially. So it becomes very intuitive. I can, I can change my time frames. I could search on a particular address to say, oh, well, look at this guy. I have, two, I have one enforcement violation at this address. What is it? What's it about? When did it occur? Are there more over the last year? It's all powerful information to know, should I live here? Do I want to go out here? Do I feel safe here? Well, now you know. So internally, though, this is all, data is also important. So behind the scenes, there's another application, another solution called Problem Properties. And Boston uses it to target the tr most troublesome addresses. Same data sets, just more robust. They have dashboards, reports, mapping that, uh, that sits there. And that provides kind of a real detailed 360 degree view of each property and they can drill down and prioritize what they target around the city up to 40 properties at a time. And they're, they're, they're looking at it and saying, hey, look at this guy, he, this is true. One, one address had over 900 911 calls in a 12-month 12 12 period. 
So imagine that from a cost perspective, how much that's draining the city. Now, one address could be a multi-family thing, so you know, it's not that crazy, but it, it's pretty crazy. Um, and then you combine that with code enforcement data and other things, and it becomes very interesting to see where do we go and who's doing what across the city. Um, from an ROI perspective, now we've helped tens of thousands of university students figure out where they want to go because they're not familiar with the city. They're seeing, um, the in they're seeing an internal improvement of 63% across those pro uh, properties that they target. So that's driving down costs. That's saving them $1.5 million a year. Um, so let's look at the second example. This is an analytical application. Well, before I jump there, analytical applications, like I mentioned before, can merge open data and internal data to provide a better picture. And this is an example of that. This is uh, called Permit Finder. And it's designed to allow permit applicants to see their project status. So you're applying for an addition, you're building a new uh, apartment building, whatever it may be, your permit's in here. And I could take the 150 plus milestones, shrink them down to seven steps. And in those seven steps, I can tell you the expected duration of each of them. So I know where it is. I know who I need to call at City Hall. That's very important. In Boston, everyone has to go to City Hall to find out their status. When they call, someone can answer the phone. It could be anyone, and they don't know your permit. This guy knows what's going on. So when I call, I ask for Harry, and I get, I get served. And he knows what I'm talking about, and he knows what's going on with my permit. Let me flip the page here. Um, behind the scenes, there's also perf a performance management system. So all their permits in Boston were infamous for being slow and the processing taking a long time. So what we have is a top to bottom performance management system, again, using the same sorts of data to drive down the processing times, 21% improvement in six months. And that goes from the mayor down to the processor that every day sees the KPIs. What how am I doing this week? How am I doing today? How am I doing year to date? It's all given to them. And not only that, it's telling you, here's the first one you need to focus on today. And this will help drive your numbers better. And then every week, the manager gets a similar program, a similar um, report that gives them that information. So again, everyone's on the same page all the way up to the mayor. So now from an ROI perspective, the higher throughput is equating to a million dollars a year for the city because they're providing more permits. They're getting more tax revenue. It's all coming back to them. It's a good investment, and people are happy. They don't have to go to City Hall. They don't have to wait longer than the permits. It's coming back quicker, and they can take actions. This is true for the residents. It's true for the businesses. It's an important aspect of the lifeblood of the city, particularly when their tax revenue base is largely built on uh, property taxes. So the final one I want to show you is snow stats. And this one also combines data. It's timely conclusions. Uh, during a snowstorm. So I want to know, well, I want to know how much snow will be happening in the next four hours. I want to know how, you know, what part, how many people in the city are responding to this. I want to see how much, how much uh, work have they done so far this year. And this one was taken about two-thirds of the way through last season, this, this screenshot. They got to 110 inches in one year, I believe it was. Broke the record. Um, but what's cool is I can put in my address and it'll give me my neighborhood statistics. As of within, we're about 10 minutes behind the plows. So I could see percentage of streets plowed in my neighborhood. There's 220 within the city of Boston. So it's a pretty precise metric. Uh, total hours I've spent plowed, number of plows, uh, uh, number of miles plowed. And you know what? I can talk about um, Scully there, who's done 17 hours on the job. I know what he's driving. Uh, behind this, there's also, uh, oh, well, for its success, uh, because of the snow last year, um, we saw 100,000 hits in eight weeks, 65,000 unique, and an average time of two minutes on the site per person. Now, that's engagement. Those people are using it, and that's over 10% of the population. Um, behind the scenes, again, there is a command center that runs all the data that they use to actively manage the plows and manage the response. So again, it's connecting the front end with the back end and giving the citizens something quick and easy to work with to understand where it is and avoid the negative connotations of, oh, why didn't the plow come by me? Oh, why didn't this? Why didn't that? It's like, oh, okay, they're working on it. And you know what? They were really thankful on Twitter that we saw. There were several hundred tweets about it. Um, so 
you know, again, we're opening up the data that is not open through informing via analytics and creating that conversation with the public. Going forward, design, you know, remember to keep in mind, design your data, uh, data efforts with your father and your wife in mind, and build the engagement by adding analytics to the open data. Thank you and appreciate you working with me today.